the Israel Defense Forces continue to gain a foothold along the coast of the Gaza Strip. The Israelis reported taking full control of the Al Shati refugee camp. Hamas militants were pushed back deep into Gaza despite desperate resistance. The Israelis continue not only to expand the zone of control in the coastal area, but also to form an operational corridor in the southeastern direction. Objective monitoring has confirmed the storming of Al-Shifa Hospital, which resulted in the arrest of several hundred Palestinians. In addition, the day before, Israeli forces advanced towards Al-Wafa Hospital, which is east of current IDF positions. These actions indicate the beginning of multi-directional sorties deep into Gaza after the encirclement of the city. There is also fighting in the Beit Hanun area and west of Beit Lahia. However, the IDF is in no hurry to advance in this direction. This may be due to the lack of confirmed targets of military and media importance. The Israeli Air Force continues massive strikes on various sites in the enclave. A significant part of them is concentrated in the areas of the IDF offensive in support of assault groups. In the south of the Strip, strikes on various population centers continue. Time after time, despite the strikes, the Israelis continue to open the humanitarian crossing on the Salah al-Din Highway. The civilian population is trying to leave Gaza, but there have been some incidents. For example, a man who was in contact with IDF members was shot dead by unknown assailants. To the south, Yemeni Houthis launched several ballistic missiles at Eilat and the surrounding area. Air defense systems repelled the attack, shooting down the object over Israeli territory. There were no casualties. In the West Bank, Israeli security forces continue mass detentions of Palestinians suspected of links to Hamas. IDF bulldozers destroy monuments and urban infrastructure in Tulkarm. Israeli activity is accompanied by clashes with Arab youths. On Israel's northern border, Hezbollah and the Israeli army continue to exchange strikes. The Lebanese attack border posts with anti-tank missile systems. The IDF responds with artillery and airstrikes on populated areas as well as forests and plantations where it suspects the presence of Hezbollah. 